Hello, everybody. Welcome to All Team Academy. I'm your host, Zach Peterson, here with another tutorial, Holiday Edition. Today, we're going to look at a question that I received on my LinkedIn about making your polygon pores and your polygon cutouts look more professional. Let's take a look at that question. And Sar writes, Hi, sir. I am very impressed by your lectures on PCB designing on YouTube and have learned a lot from there. I have a question and am facing a problem. How can we remove the unwanted part from a polygon pore plane in Altium Designer? I want to remove the unwanted part from the plane of ground and supply because it looks very unprofessional and gives a bad look to the board. Hi Ansar, thanks for the message and I understand exactly what you're referring to. I've had problems using polygon pores in the past and trying to get them to look nice and clean, although I did figure out a few tips and tricks along the way. So that's what we're going to look at today in this video. I'm going to show you some of my tips and tricks for making your polygon pore look a little more professional and of course how to remove sections from a polygon pore. Grab your copy of Altium Designer, follow along, and let's get started. inside of an STM32 board in Altium Designer. And what I'm gonna do in this board is just show some examples that will help answer the question from Ansar. So first things first, um, obviously with the polygon tool, what's the best way to use this tool? Well, first things first, you should actually set a grid size and you should make sure that you have the snap turned on and that the snap option for grid is also turned on. So you'll notice here if you have this uh, blanked out and it's not blue, then you won't have the uh, cursor snapping to the grid when you're trying to use the polygon drawing tool. So that's the first thing. You should try to uh, make sure that you can snap to the right distance in your grid so that when you are drawing this polygon, it not, uh, draws nice sharp shapes here in the PCB layout. So just kind of as an example, I can go through, click this and draw out this very nice polygon pour. And um, here I complete this, just hit escape. And then you can see it pours itself automatically. To answer Ansar's first question, how do we cut out a piece of this polygon? How do we remove part of this? So there's a simple way to do it. And if you right click up here and you look at these options, you see right here, we have polygon pour cutout. So if we have a polygon pour, we can also just grab this and we can then draw another region here inside of this polygon. And again, with the snap turned on and adhering to the grid, you can see I'm just drawing out this big polygon here and eventually I'll get to here and close it and hit escape. And this is our polygon cutout. Now, when I take this and re-pour it, you can see here, this polygon cutout region that I just drew here, it now removes all of that copper from this polygon pour. So you'll notice here in my selection filter that if I have polygon enabled, that if I just select in this region, you'll see here it's selecting the polygon and it's not selecting the cutout. I have to double click in this region and then you'll see that this box comes up and then I can select either the polygon pour or the cutout region. And then if I select that cutout region, I can then modify it. Maybe I can move this around. Um, I could add more points to it. Um, I could actually just pick this region up and totally move it outside of the polygon. I could do this kind of thing where I have them partially overlapping. And then of course, once I select this polygon and report it, you see that it's then still going to adhere to the boundaries defined by this cutout region. So this cutout region is what gives you the quick and easy ability to essentially take one of these polygons and remove a section from it. So that's by far the easiest way. And I would say it's kind of a standard way to do things in Altium Designer. It's definitely to use this polygon cutout region. Now, the next thing that you could do is you could subtract two polygons from each other. So let's just suppose here that I have another polygon pour and um, let's just say it looks uh, something like this. And I'm just drawing some, you know, kind of random shapes here, of course. Um, you could draw out whatever you want. But let's just suppose I have this polygon pour 
and I want to subtract this region from this larger polygon pore. How do we do that? So to subtract this smaller polygon from this larger polygon, I have the larger polygon selected and then right click and then polygon actions and then you'll see down here, subtract polygons from selected. So I'm gonna subtract a polygon from my currently selected polygon. So to do this, I just select this option. Then I'm gonna select this region where this other polygon is located, right click, and here you see the polygon blanks out and in the properties panel, it says polygon not poured. So as soon as I re-pour this, you'll see that this prior area where we had that smaller polygon has now been cut out. So what exactly happened here? Well, if you actually look at what's going on here, you can see that there's this dashed line running along the edge of the polygon. And what that means is that this internal area has actually been converted into a region. And specifically, it has been converted into a polygon cutout region. So that we can see that right here under kind. So that's what this uh, subtract polygons tool does. It is it actually allows you to take an existing polygon and move it over here into this larger polygon. And then it will essentially just take that polygon, that smaller one that you want to subtract, and it will convert it into a region automatically. And then of course you just leave it here. So you could either draw the region or you could use another polygon that you have somewhere on the board to then uh, convert into a cutout. And then by using a cutout, it's gonna get you the exact same thing. You're gonna have this region cut out from that polygon. Now, let's just suppose for a moment that you're not a fan of the polygon uh, drawing tool and uh, maybe you just don't feel like cutting a piece out using a cutout region. Um, or another option is uh, maybe you just already have a line drawing and you want to use that to set the cutout. Well, what you can do is you can use these drawing tools to then create a polygon and use that for subtraction, or you could use them to create a region and then that region can be defined as a cutout. Now, um, I think the simplest thing to do is just use the line tool, but with these arc tools, you could conceivably create like a circular cutout or a curved cutout. So just using the line tool, we can do something really simple. Like let's say we just want to, you know, cut out this square from uh, the polygon that I have over here. So what I would do is I would just draw out this square. And now that I have it drawn out, I could then use this as a cutout. But what I have to do is first go up to tools and then convert. So the conversion tool is going to allow me to create a polygon from this selected group of tracks. So when I create this polygon from selected primitives, I now see that this kind of uh, region here, this uh, square region was just created inside of this original track region. So once this is created, you'll notice these tracks still exist. And in order to delete those original tracks, all I have to do is just turn off the polygon selection filter. I go back up here and highlight those and just hit delete and then they'll go away. Turn the polygon selection filter back on and now I can select my polygon. So by default, when you do this, when you take a line tool and then you use it to create a polygon like this, what you would then have is essentially an unfilled polygon that is just composed of these tracks. So by default, it's gonna set a track width here and then it's gonna leave the interior region unfilled. So what you can do with this then is you can set it to solid and re-pour it. You could of course set it to hatched and re-pour it, anything you can really think of. But once you have it like this, you could then move this polygon over here into this region and you could do your subtraction. So you could right click, polygon actions, subtract selected. I'm gonna pick the interior one, right click, and then you see it creates a cutout. I then just re-pour everything and then you see there's my cutout in this polygon region. So this creates a nice clean square. And I did all of this without having to draw out these individual sections of this larger polygon. So those are a few different ways that you can get these really nice clean shapes 
cut out of these arbitrary shaped polygons and still have it nice and closed. And then you also won't have to have these multiple polygons that later on you have to combine together into a single polygon. So hopefully that answers the main portion of the question. The other thing that you can do as far as drawing out these polygons is, you know, you can use these fill and solid region tools if you want to draw out large regions of copper. So just as an example, like let's say I use the fill tool here. You know, if I use this fill tool like this, and then I try and move this around, or maybe I try and increase it so that it overlaps with these tracks, well immediately what's going to happen here is it's going to ask you to select a net to assign to this fill region. And if I just leave it unselected, you'll notice here that it creates a collision. So this is one of the reasons why you don't want to use the fill tool to start drawing out these big regions of copper. The reason is that you'll notice is that if I put this big fill up here on top of these tracks, it, the system wants me to assign this fill to a net. And if I just leave it unassigned or maybe I assign it to ground or some other arbitrary net, it's not going to apply the clearance rules around these traces. So that's actually a bad thing and we don't want that. Instead, we always want to use a polygon because if I take this polygon and of course the cutout and let's say I move this up here into this region, as soon as I re-pour this polygon, the system will apply the clearance rules around these tracks so that they don't collide with the copper in this polygon. So that's one of the main reasons that you want to do this uh, polygon tool drawing uh, in order to get these large regions of copper. And then of course to get a final copper section or copper distribution that we have here, you would want to make sure to use the cutouts in order to get the shapes that you want. So that's everything I have for y'all in this tutorial today. Thanks for watching. And Sar, I hope this answers your question and gives you some strategies for drawing out your polygons and of course putting cutouts in your polygons. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, make sure to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. Of course, you can always get at me on LinkedIn with your questions about Altium Designer. And last but not least, don't forget to call your fabricator folks and happy holidays, everybody.